Hey everyone, my name is Ryan, and today I want to show you how I added a forward and reverse switch to my ultimate electric beach cart. I do want to mention if you are here for a Razer Dirt Quad ATV, yes, you can add my forward and reverse switch to your Razer Dirt Quad ATV. So before I begin, you cannot change from forward to reverse while the cart is moving because it can lead to motor and or electrical failure. So all the parts for my switch are going to be down in the description and how I built this thing. So just a quick show off. I just got to turn my cart on and then here is the switch itself. So right now, this is forward. You flip it, this is neutral. And if I go one more time, this is reverse. So neutral, you know, it's neutral. It's not going to do anything. But if I flip it to forward and I bring this down, here's the cart going forward. It's a little hard doing this with one hand. And then if I flip the switch again to reverse, here is the cart going backwards. And this is it. Here's everything we need to make the forward and reverse switch. You can see down here the wires are pretty long. You are able to adjust it to make it to whatever wire length you want. If we take a look at the switch itself, it has an on off on function. What that means is forward, neutral, and reverse. The wires down here are connected by ring terminal connectors. Here's what they look like. You will need a total of eight of these. And those ring terminal connectors connect into the switch by screws. Later in the video, I'll be showing the wiring diagram. If we take a look on the other side, we have two pin connectors. One of the pin connector connects to the motor. The other pin connector connects to the controller. If you want to save yourself some money, you could just do some soldering instead. Here's the diagram for my forward and reverse switch for my electric beach cart and or Razor Dirt Quad ATV because they all use the same electrical components. Do this at your own risk. I want to mention I am not an electrician. However, I am some guy that learned this over the internet and I still believe I'm doing it safely. So before I dive into this, I want to go over some specifications of the Razor Dirt Quad electrical setup. So we have a motor that is 24 volt DC and it pulls 350 watts. The electrical wire from the controller to the motor is 15 amps. Now if we look over at our switch, I have a 30 amp, 30 volt DC switch. So this is higher than the 24 volt DC motor and the 15 amp. However, that is okay. It is an electrical switch. If anything, it's providing more of a safety margin. I want to show the original setup before I keep talking about my diagram. So this is what the original Razor Dirt Quad electrical setup looks like. You can see from the controller to the motor, we have one pin connector. So to create a forward and reverse switch and to reverse polarity, we need to change the electrical direction from the controller to go to a switch and then back to the motor. And that is what we did with our double pole, double throw switch. So you can see right here, now we have two pin connectors. If you want to save some money, you can do some soldering instead. You'll save around eight to $10. However you want to be on the safe side, you could just use the pin connectors. And if you ever want to get rid of the switch, all you have to do is disconnect it and place one pin connector back in the middle. But you want to follow the same logical setup I have right here. You want to wire yellow to black, blue to red, red to red on the motor side, and black to black on the motor side. And then follow the same outline up here. Um, on the back of the switch. Now you can see the X is in red wiring. You can use red or black wiring, whichever one you choose, it does not matter. So I do want to talk about the switch real fast. So this is a on, off, on switch. 30 amp, 30 volt DC. These switches are very hard to find. So please use with caution. Remember we have a 24 volt system. Do not use a 12 volt switch. You want to use a 24 volt switch or a 34 volt switch or even higher. You do not want to go lower as that can cause electrical failure. The same thing with the amps. You want to go 15 amps or more because the motor component uses a 15 amp wire. So real fast, I want to talk about the switch. This is an on off on switch. That means it's forward, neutral and reverse. Um, you can use a on on switch, which is just forward and reverse. It is up to you. Just look online. I'll post some switches down in the description. Just look at pricing and everything. 
But if you use the on off on switch, you do have a neutral. Uh, this can act as extra safety margin. If you have any kids, they're not just going to, you know, throw the electrical switch on and they could take off with it. If it's on neutral, they would have to switch it to forward and reverse. So the other parts that we will need to buy are, again, pin connectors. You will need some ring pin terminals as well with number 10 studs, and you will need some 14 gauge wire. And I will post all those links in the description. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you guys could use my forward and reverse switch for your project.